Ambitious and motivated are words that describe you best. Then you're on the right place. This is Motivational Radio Friends from Paris with your host, Longi Agoha. Now, let me ask you one of the last questions. Uh, can anyone succeed in life without identifying his or her purpose? I would say yes. They can succeed in the wrong thing. See, that's, that's a tragedy, to, to be successful in the wrong thing. And many people, as I said, a bird was born to fly and a fish was born to swim. If you put a bird to swim, it would die. And if you, if you put a fish, a fish to fly, it would die. It might, the fish might try to fly and it will be succeeding and then it will begin to die slowly. So some people are like that. They are trying to be who they are not born to be. And it's wearing them out. They're feeling stressed. That's why people commit suicide. Because they're doing things they were not born to be. They are going to jobs they don't like. They're doing things that don't bring out their gift. And that's stressing them. And that's causing them to commit suicide. And even people commit spiritual suicide. Meaning that they have died already. They're, they've given up. They're still on the job. But they know that that passion, that purpose is in, you know, inside of them. But they're afraid to step up and to pursue that dream because they want to have enough money to pay the bills, to pay all this. But because that purpose is on the inside of them, it's going to make them uncomfortable. And until they, until they do what they're born to be, they will never live a life that is stress-free. So people can be successful in the wrong thing without finding their purpose. But until you find your purpose, you'll never be fulfilled in life. Okay. So w- could you say fulfillment is equal to happiness? Yes. I would say, yeah, fulfillment is equal to happiness. Obviously, happiness is true discovery of purpose. Happiness is doing what you love to do. That's why you get joy. You know you have the money. You know you have. You can buy anything you want. And, and that brings happiness. So some people say that they are happy even when they're poor. You know, once the bills come, you won't be happy. But once you discover your purpose, your purpose is... Your purpose will bring... Your purpose is where you generate the money. You see, Tiger Woods is... is is in his purpose. Bill Gates is serving his his gifts. And that's the most important thing. For you to be happy, you have to become a servant. And for you to be great, you have to become a servant. That's what the Bible says. And for you to become a servant, what it means is that you have to serve your gift to the world. Bill Gates is serving his gift. Tiger Woods is serving his gift. All these people, they are serving their gift. So for you to be fulfilled in life, for you to be happy, you have to become a servant, meaning that you have to serve your gift to your generation. Discover your gift and then serve it. And this is the thing is that God has a plan for you, but he won't plan for you. So what you need to do, take some time. There's a young boy that said, stop planning, sit down and think and start creating. Meaning that all you have to do is sit down in your room, spend 30 minutes and start writing all the ideas that have been in your mind, all the desires that have been in your heart and start writing them down and then begin to pursue them. Because whatever you think on the inside of you is what's on the inside of you. Because the apple tree is on the inside of the apple seed. You're the apple seed. Inside of you there is a forest. There is potentials, ideas, businesses, companies, books that are not written yet, music that has not been released, ideas that are yet to be manifested, magazines that are yet to be published. So all you have to do is sit down and start planning and start putting every idea on paper and then the money will come to you. People are waiting for your plan, for your idea to sponsor it, to give you the money to put that idea forward. Yes, sir. That's great. You are, you are wonderful. That's great. I like, I like this because you are really motivating our listeners because of the fact that it's, it's, it's inside all of us. All of us, it, I think you're speaking to everybody because of the fact that this thing called purpose is inside every one of us. And I am happy today because I am living my purpose. I have identified my purpose and I'm living it and that's it. And I guess from your voice, I know you are living your purpose and that's it. You see, when you hear somebody living his purpose or you see somebody living his purpose, I think it's very easy to see. Very, very easy to see. I, I, I tell this story. I, w- I was teaching some students today and they were asking me because I told them that there are two important days in a man's life. It's the day the person was born and the day he identifies why that why? is purpose and then and they said have I, you know they asked me if i had found my purpose i said yes that's why i'm standing before you and all of them started laughing uh, you know and i, I told them yes i am ve- I, I'm, I i would accept teaching them without pay, without being paid and i believe i believe that one of the ways of identifying 
really if you have found your gift is something you are ready to do without being paid you know yeah that if you're ready if you are ready say hey i can do this for two months without being paid okay but if you have not found your purpose you might not accept not being paid for even one day yeah, because when you find your purpose, you would enjoy your job so much that you would, you would, you would do anything for it. Mm, because that's who you are. That's who you are. The other thing, um, the, the greatest enemy in life, in your progress, is your last success. Some people succeed and then they stop there. And also, everyone needs a, everyone needs a mentor and everyone needs a teacher, someone that always motivate them. Because I was on a, a conference, um, last year and then there's a lady that said, she, she said, why don't you, because I wrote a book, and then she, she said, why don't you publish your knowledge and translate in different languages and take it all around the world, take it global. I never thought about that. And then once she said that, I took action. And then after that, I translated my book in French, in Portuguese, in German, in Spanish, and also in Dutch. And I thought, I, uh, you know, when you don't, when you're not exposed to the right information, you settle for less. But when you get information, when you get knowledge, you begin to expand your vision. So ever since I had that lady speaking, and then I expanded my vision, and then I started, I, I translated my books in all these other languages, and that's why I, I'm speaking to you today because. I had to connect myself to people who are in France because I wrote my book in French. So, you know, I got people to help me to translate it and also to proofread it. Things are working out for my good. So, you know, it's, it's wonderful to expose yourself to the right knowledge and listen to the right things and also to be around the right people that will give you the right knowledge. This podcast was brought to you by the Motivational Radio France with your host, Lodjago in Paris.